evening, good evening. Hope everyone is doing fantastic. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good night so far. We are going to be back to Skyrim today. I knew I was a little wishy-washy on whatever if I was going to play Cyberpunk or if we were going to get back into Skyrim, but I was feeling the Skyrim. So that's what we're doing today. Um, as far as the day goes, uh, we got the shelves in today the back and I'm excited about that we're gonna get those put up over the weekend so hopefully Sunday morning they'll be all set up we'll have all the all the background all good so I'm excited for that um and then we got a, a patio set for our our patio we have like a screen in screen in patio so it's not huge but it's it's space so we have like a patio set and the couches came with footrests and there's only space out there for like one kind of Otherwise, it just takes up too much of the patio. So we took one, and it fits under my desk as like a footrest. Pretty cool idea. I was like, oh, maybe, you know, just in case I want to put my feet up, chill out while I'm like editing or whatever. Vivi has decided that it is her bed. She has eight beds in the house, and now she has one more. So she is currently, I would show you if I could, she is currently on the, on the, on the footrest. And it's hilarious. She's just loving it. So, she's under the desk, sleeping at my feet. It's pretty funny. Other than that, though, we're going to get into Skyrim. Let's hop over. Dun, dun, dun. Where did we leave off? We were doing a bunch of the main quests. That's what we were doing. That's what we were doing. Oh, yep. I forgot I, I I forgot the last time I was on this. I was getting all the books put away in the order. This, I was doing this off stream, and I forgot to put them back, so... Yikes, we have a lot of books. You know what I mean? Like, I was just going through this so it didn't look like garbage. Oh, no. I put wrong the wrong things on here. Oh, no, we're okay. We're okay. Cool. I was really hoping maybe they would fit better in there, but nope. Nope. Okay. I'm sorry that this is the first thing we have to do today, but... It is what it is. We gotta put the books back. I also got... I got a PDF. I found one. On... I can't remember what the website was. It's pretty much the one that like has all of the information about Skyrim. Um... And it's just escaped in my brain right now. Um, but pretty much, it has all the books. It, it also has all the journals on it, which is kind of, eh, we're not counting those. But it has every single book listed out in order. And it's a editable PDF. So I can just go on there and check off all the things we've gotten. So I need to do that sometime. Just to, to cross-reference, cross you know what I mean? Make sure we're we're collecting the, all the ones we need. Because there might even be more um, than what I'm remembering. Because I've seen multiple places that there's 337. I've also seen places uh, that there's more than that. That might be like DLC books. It might also just be counting the journals, the writs, like all of these little writings and stuff. So that might be what it's giving you so many. Cool. Almost there. In the M, so we're, get, we're like halfway done. And I've been trying to figure out a good way to uh, to read these. 
like for um probably gonna put them on like TikTok. so because i like reading them i'm sure people that are out there that, that enjoy like books so and I, I feel like i have a a halfway decent voice for it Plus, this means I can get rid of my duplicates. I had, a, I had a couple of the duplicate ones on there, on accident. Ugh, those poor books, they're just getting mangled. I don't know why that does it so bad. Uh, it's weird. It's just because like the weird size of the books don't fit well, but then they can they can go on there. Almost there. One more, two more bookshelves, maybe? I think it's 11 that can fit on a bookshelf. The woodcutter's wife. Oh no. So yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna keep the 337 as, as the, the note there. If we get more than that, we get more than that. You know what I mean? There, there's probably more than that out there. Let's drop these journals off too. These things are freaking annoying. Oh, we can't drop those ones. Okay, well, that's fine. Go drop our ingredients and stuff off real fast. Um. <laughs> Do we have any other crap we need to drop off, like ore or anything? Attunement sphere. Oh, that's right. We're going to get the Elder Scroll. That's where we left off. Ugh. That's gonna be uh, that's gonna be a journey. Yeah, we gotta go back into Blackreach. Okay, I remember now. I remember. Sweet. Go to, let's drop our ingredients. We got a ton. And are we sitting pretty good on potions? That's a good question, because we're going to need them. We are going to need them. Healing potions. We have a ton. Okay. Good stuff. Yeah, I think we're okay. Awesome. Oh yeah, the Crimson Nin Root. So cool. Okay. We'll keep those on us just because we need to collect them for that quest. Sweet!
Hey, all right. Um, so we can go straight back to, straight back to the the Great Lift. I think is the one that takes us straight down into the into the Reach. Ninety four. Yeah, we're doing good. Okay. Awesome. It's a black reach. You've been finding a decent amount of books doing this. I mean, it's kind of... It's creepy down here. Did that guy just, uh... Did not care. He just, he went for it. Dive bomb. Ectoplasm? That sounds yucky. Ooh. How do we get in here? Around the back? Around the back. Crap. The Warden Mace of Despair. Ebony War Axe. Oh, damn. If that was an Ebony War, so like a sword? Could have been something. Could have been something. The Blade Sword is pretty freaking good, though. Did the other guy just dive bomb off to you? What is he doing? Where did you come from? Oh, no you don't. No you don't! Blam. Can't even get his bun. Unfortunate. Oh, a centurion. Yeah? Is that active? Guess we'll find out. Some shiny rocks. It sure is. Get your poop breath out of here. <laughs> oh, I left too soon. Easy. You just kind of juke it. You got to run around in circles. It'll never catch you. Hey, buddy. Are you stuck? What does that do? Turn him off? I can hear, wait, I can hear an in-room. Or an in -room. Thank you. Five. Out of 30? I thought it was 20. They're just upping the number on me? Is that... It seems suspicious. I swear it was 20. We're gonna have to do some serious, serious exploring. Ho ho ho, here we go. <laughs> Geode vein. Is this just gonna be a bunch of gems? Gold gem?
Whoa. That's crazy. What I was expecting. Silver. Black is just super cool. There's not a map down here. That's kind of. Local map? Oh. Oh, okay. There is a local map. places are we going to have to discover down here? So many. What the heck? What the heck? Quit shooting me. Where'd he go? Geodes? Yes. Give me your souls. Can we do a uh, emperor voice? I don't know if I can do it very well. You just gotta get that really raspy old man voice. I see you up there. Fireball has been the most nuts spell. Unless you miss with it. City catacombs. What the hell is in there? Are we gonna go exploring? Oh, I wanna explore. I wanna explore so bad. this if you can't you can't get it while you're swimming those good souls <laughs> oh some weird stuff going on in here oh man a creeper I've been poisoned. Is that a trap? What did that do? Did it open another door? Stinky eggs. Did it shut this? Interesting. Who? Freaking where? Who was shooting? Oh, that guy. Okay. I guess we'll come back to him and he'll lead us up there. Whoa! 
What? A whole underwater area? Oh my god. Did I just find a treasure trove? Why was I not an Argonian? Glass Mesa Binding. Oh, we got an upgrade for our freaking... Our Soul Trap weapon. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Uh, please. Please! <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, because we had the Orcish one, right? Yeah, we got an upgrade. That's cool. Okay, there's got to be more goods down here, right? Amulet of Mara. Is that it? Just those two? Just two little chests? Man. Should have been an Argonian. Or I just need a necklace of breathing, water breathing. Pretty sure I had one of those at one point during the- maybe it was a different blade there. Pretty sure I had one though. Got rid of it. Foolish mistake. Leveling up, not nice. Bunch of creepers. Get out of here. Do we got the goods back here? Oh, that looks like the way to go. This guy, what are you looking at, my bat? You lose me? Getting so many soul gems. I like it. Bum bum bum. Where are we going? I don't even know, we're just exploring. Freaking finding friends. This is what we're doing. Holy crap. Blasted that lady. I came around that corner, fireball charged and ready. Never no, I just. Here. Why are you help, Why are you serving the Palmer? I have questions. I have questions and I need to know what is happening. So weird. I was hoping she was going to have a book on her or something. <laughs> Excuse me? At your best, huh? Man spawned in behind me. Back to Black Reach, okay. Oh, this is where we need to go. 
Oh no, never mind. What? Is someone there? Did we bypass this entire place? Oh my god. Secret entrance? Where did you spawn from? We need to debate hall. We just passed so much stuff. Where are you coming from? It's a massacre. What the hell? Goodbye. What is happening? I'm so confused. I know you can. They've become too powerful. There's some crazy stuff going on down here. I feel like I missed so much by going in the, the, the back way, though. Oh, we gotta go explore now. Before we go find... Find the ending? That's no good, you know what I mean? We're missing so much. I hear a root. Okay, we were just in there. I feel like we missed so much. Why did we go in that secret entrance? I mean, I guess it was fine, but... Ah, back entrance? Okay. This place is crazy. Look how freaking giant it is. The ambiance, like noise and music, keeps making me think that there's Nern Root everywhere. And there's not. And it's bothering me. I just want it. No, you're a Khajiit! I feel horrible. What led you so far astray? From elsewhere all the way to these silly Falmer. You think they're being controlled? God, I have so many questions. Can't open that? There we go, okay. That, I'm guessing, is the way we actually have to go. So let's take a look around. Ruthless.
Hold on. Vampire dust? No. Tried to tell him. Tried to just shut the door on him. He said, What is happening? Leave me alone. Coming? Oh, they were over here. Okay. That poor guy. That poor guy. Just a level one schmuck. Yeah, what's down here? Anything good? Nope. Okay, well, we discovered everything there is. Time to go up. Hi, friend. We have become so powerful. I go to supply reach, okay. Just a different entrance, I guess. Let's take us. Okay. So I'm guessing we do need to go up in that one, like way up there. Let's see. Back to the halls. This is where it's pointing us to go. And I'm guessing it wants us to go back out the main entrance. So we don't jump to our death. Station. Huh. Oh, is this not even where we need to go for this? This is just a whole different area. Now I'm curious as to what's up top here. Right? Did we go this way? Thought we did. Goes back out to Black Reach. Whoa. Oh, a dance of fire. Can we have this book? Yeah. Why does it say we haven't read it? Hello? Weird. It said we didn't have it. It wasn't glowing, though. 189 <laughs> Yeah, we did we came this way. Okay. So maybe we did explore all of this. Can we survive? Can we make this jump? Risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. Oh, not even any damage. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I guess we just need to go around. Where does it want us to go? It 
does want us to go inside. What the hell? Did I miss a door? It's fine. We made it out. Well, that was a cool place. I'm assuming there's something else, because it looks like you can go all the way to the top there. But maybe not. Maybe not. That was cool, though. There's so much to explore down here. We're going to we're gonna have to do it once we get the freaking Elder Scroll. Once we get the Elder Scroll, we're going to have to do so much. We're going to have to do so much. Dun, dun, dun. Bum, bum, bum. Hello? Look at all these mushrooms. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love mushrooms. Oh, what? This is broken. That was deceiving. Farm overs here. They farm the mushrooms. Interesting. I will take a potion. I'll take two potions. And a skeever tail? Oh, perfect. Exactly what I came here for. Dun 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 dun. Is there going to be some juicy farm lore in here? Nope. That's it? There's no book? No nothing? And somebody died. That's apparent. There's no info in here. This is really cool looking though. All the mushroom stuff is like growing in it. sucks. Oh, there's another chest. Almost walked out. Could be worse. Could be worse. Bum, bum, bum. Whoa. Who's setting up camp down there? Oh, we have to know. We have to know. We'll sneak around. Sneak around back. Oh, I wonder if there's like an entrance in the water. We'll have to swim. Figure it out. Geo, we can grab some of those. Those the Falmer, okay. can't just suck up my fireball like that, sir.
freak? Get in cover. or one handed attacks do 20% more damage dang bunch of corundrum okay it's so murky A fish. <laughs> ah, yes. The tripod spider fish doesn't even move when you swim up to it, like a stone. It plays dead. The only fish that plays dead. Don't mind if I do. What the heck? There's a level 24! I still get freaked out by those things, man. They do damage. They do freaking damage. We're up to 13? 13 there, right? That's pretty good. Making... Making a dent. Hopefully we can get the 30. Just have to do some good... What are these? We'll have to do some more searching. That's all. Okay. Cross the river. I think that's that's the building we gotta go in. There one more right there. My am, am I spying one? I spy with my little eyes. Okay. This is where we gotta go. Does this take us down? Or up? Whoa. but they're all destroyed. Ooh. Nice. Level 30? Level 30? No, 29, damn it. No, no, level 30. Aha! Okay, and enchanting would be so cool to just like get into. Spell scribe activates twice. Okay, we're not using that. New enchants placed upon robes, circlets, hoods, and necklaces are 30%. Wow. Place two enchants? Oh my god. We can get so strong with enchants. 
wild. We haven't even gone into one hand yet. It makes me so confused. Like, what do I want to go into? This would be good. Swords is what we're going with, I feel like. At this point, we're so far into using them, but... Lockpicking would be good. Or just going straight into more fire would be good. Uh, ignite the ground underneath is pretty good. Firemancer's Ascension. Dual casting. Yeah, we don't dual cast, so. Then Scorched Earth. That requires 70. Uh, can flag is pretty good, though. Burns the ground. Oh, we can go into Combustion. Fire spells, uh, end effects cast on others up to 30% more powerful. Nice. A book. The Armorer's Challenge. One ninety, <laughs> baby. Don't mind if I do. Scroll of Muffle. Oh, what is going on? What is pumping out of that? We're getting so many potions of vigorous healing now, I love it. We haven't really had to use... We haven't had to use too many of our potions yet, because most of the things down here have been like level 9. Whoa, what the heck? I didn't think that, I thought that we were going to be more to this. More to this tower. This is it? This is the end game? The bing bang boom? It's one of these guys, yeah. It doesn't have, it's not the fire thing though. This is we needed. Alexicon. I think that powered it up. Now we have to do it in a certain order. journal I were never one for writing about my life the king priests of old deserve their stories told but Drocht is a simple man so this isn't no journal and I'm not telling any stories here but this infernal machine done worked its way into my brain space and I won't leave till it's figured out the whole contraption just sets like a dead horker if it doesn't have the box putting the box in the hole made it come all come to life five rings but only four buttons most of them don't work most of the time anyhow when the lights line up more open but they don't seem to help just make another damn thing move the old flea bag khajiit what sold me this cube said something about the light through the the knowledge through the machine rests on the cube i remember because he made me say it back to him till i wanted to throttle him so i did Tried to leave, but wolves too. The top and uh, tried to leave, the wolves to the top and them eyeless freaks outside the tower. Got to stay here till I get it right, and I will get it right. Okay, so like he said, they line up, and then more of the buttons open.
just takes us out. Okay. Okay. Ruin books, ruin books, ruin books. Man, they must have sat here and just like studied. Oh, this is so weird. Okay. Like you said, they line up. But that didn't open up any of the buttons. That did something. like an actual thing on this but uh, uh yeah we did it yikes i think that's the elder scroll dude look at that thing it's massive that's like that's like as big as me i think it's huge elder scroll dragon nice Did we take the lexicon back Alduin's Bane. Read the scroll at the time wound. Transcribe the lexicon. Give the lexicon to Septimus. Okay. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, we did it. Out the door. The la okay, yeah, so we're supposed to go to Septimus and give him the lexicon, and then we can go read the, the thingy. Let's go to Septimus. Do we not level? We did, we just didn't put our point out. We put in combustion. We can't get that yet. Let's go talk to this madman. I guess we're just gonna have to quick save a bunch today because for some reason it's one to crash on us. <gasps> Don't look at me. Boethia is calling. And the top level was built, eh? hmm. no more could be placed. Oh no. We went, we speed ran too fast, we forgot to get the Lexi. Oh, at least we can go straight back. Oh no. We were speed running too fast. The Lexicon's back in the thing. Uh, oop. I think it's this one. Cathedral. Great lift. Where did we come out? Did we come out of here? No. We had to have come out of here. No, dragon, no! I'm doing important things. Mm. 
Oh, yeah, crap. Where did we come out? Was it this one? Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, we're lost. We're lost and alone. And I broke it. What is going on with Skyrim today? It's having such a hard time. It is having such a hard time. I'm so sorry. Everything is just breaking it today. Okay. Let's go to the Great Lift. Please don't crash. It was that bone. Okay, it doesn't look like there's another one here, so we'll just go down to Blackreach. We gotta run all the way over there again. Way down here in the corner. We're trying to speed run too fast, and it's just the game is not enjoying it. It is not enjoying it at all. There's a there's a root up there. We gotta freaking balance beam this to get to that root. What the frick? Oh yeah. The genius. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot more we can explore here in Blackreach for sure. That's another book. Maybe something is going on with my, my glowing book one? Because it's not, um, it's not glowing. Oh, come on. Come on. That doesn't look like the tower. Maybe it was? No, that's something else. This is the tower, okay. Man, there's so much down here. We have that whole area to explore still. save please aha it loaded good stuff thank you for cooperating well can't say I didn't get my steps in for the day We can go back to Septimus. Quick save. We'll let the game process a little bit. Then we'll
will go up. Holy moly. What an adventure. Tower of Zark. That's so far away. Wow. You go all the way underground there? That's crazy. Okay, Septimus. I have your your little thing. I have your box. When the top level was built, eh? no more could be placed. It was and is the maximal apex. I've inscribed the lexicon. Give it quickly. Extraordinary. I see it now. The ceiling structure interlocks in the tiniest fractals. Dwemer blood can loose the hooks, but none alive remain to bear it. A panoply of their brethren could gather to form a facsimile. A trick. Something they did not anticipate. No, not even them. The blood of Altmer, Bosmer, Dunmer, Falmer, and Orsimer. The elves still living provide the key. Oh, damn. Bear you hence this extractor. It will drink the fresh blood of elves. Come when its set is complete. Oh, no. I have to get blood of it? I have to go kill every single kind of elf? I guess we're doing that. Too bad we killed ah, like all the former. Contains the heart, ah, the essence of a god. I have devoted my life to the Elder Scrolls, but their knowledge is a passing awareness when compared to the encompassing mind of divinity. The Dwemer were the last to touch it. It was thought to have been destroyed by the Nerevarin, but my lord told me otherwise. Uh, who's your lord? The Daedric Prince of the Unknown, Hermaeus Mora. I thought there were no secrets left to know until I first spoke to him. Hermaeus Mora. He asks a price to work his will. A few murders, some dissent spread, a plague or two. Just a little bit of murder. I can endure. Just a little In bit. In time, he brought me here to the box but he won't reveal how to open it maddening you just said you we have to kill all the, the elves and get their blood so that sounds about like what we need to do huh looks like we have all those books okay uh maybe we'll do that That wasn't there before. That wasn't there before. Come closer. Bask in my presence. Mr. Daedric, Prince. Who are you? I am Hermaeus Mora. I am the guardian of the unseen and knower of the unknown. I have been watching you, mortal. Oh, yeah? Most impressive. What do you want from me? Your continuing aid to Septimus renders him increasingly obsolete. He has served me well, but his time is nearing its end. Oh, that's comfy. Once that infernal lockbox is opened, he will have exhausted his usefulness to me. 
When that time comes, you shall take his place as my emissary. What say you? You know what? We haven't said no to a Daedric Prince yet. Um, so, might as well. <laughs> Indeed. Speak with me when the yes. box has been opened and uh, all shall be revealed. So funny. We, we've turned... We have gone from this nice, happy person collecting books to this um, ungodly, horrible, horrible orc that is a very powerful wizard. That serves every Daedric Prince. Oh man, the the way you twist and, and turn your stories, huh? I guess we should have known it was coming. We have so much crap on us now. Holy crap. Should we go drop stuff off quick? Let's see. Maybe go sell some stuff and then go up to the tower. Or not the tower, the uh, throat of the world. Save. Drop my ingredients off. What if you accidentally use the Nern root? Wouldn't that be bad? Wouldn't that feel like a dumb thing to do? We're halfway there though, 15. It's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. I think we have some ore to drop off to. I think. Just because we were collecting some stuff. I don't know if those are actually worth putting in there. Probably not. But, uh, it's in there. Ooh. Oof, I did not eat dinner before stream and it is getting to me now. That's okay. My partner's coming home and we'll eat after dinner. Or after stream. After dinner. Get silly. Essence extractor. Dude, it's so weird. Uh do 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 do. Let's go sell some things. You know, Belathor has never judged us once. He sees what we are. He knows that we're corrupt. He doesn't care. He says, you do good business, my friend. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. I think we have a weapon we can get rid of. Welcome to war. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Well, that depends. What do you have? Hey. Imminent wielding? Do they have any good? I don't think so. But you know, might as well look. Maybe Elven Sword, yeah. Poop. <laughs> you can have that, you can have those. Warven Mace of Despair we don't need, right? Yeah, we don't need that. And then we have the Glass Mace now, so we don't need the Orcish one. Awesome. Good doing business with you. Our 
good Got friend. Just about everybody in here. Mr. Bellathorn. Yep. Everything's trinkets, odds and ends. We might have to get to the point where we thing. buy books from him because there's some in here that we well, is there? We have all these. There's one on a shelf back there that we don't have. You can have that junk. There's a couple scrolls in here I don't need. Keep the shallow doors, those are cool. Oh, that would be a mistake. Dang, dude, why do you run out of money so fast? I got so much junk. I got so much junk in my trunk. Do come back. I guess we can go to the potion lady. She she'll buy some potions from us. I think we, I think we have some poisons and stuff we collected. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. <laughs> you look rather pay. Ah, so you're an alchemist. Am I sick? Then? Is that what she's saying? She thinks I'm sick? Six. What is going on? What is weighing us down so much? The 9,000 soul gems we have? Yeah, I guess. I mean, that's... It's probably weighing us down a good bit. We have so many. We've Anytime just been collecting be so much. Uh, yeah, are we sick? We're not sick. What a liar. It's a horrible thing to say to somebody. You're looking pretty pale. What are you looking at? I'm not afraid of you. No, even if you are my elf. Maybe it's because we don't get in the sun very much. Maybe we're diving in caves all day. Or reading books. Pretty much telling me to go touch grass. Alright. Let's do this. The throat of the world. You have it. The Kel. The Elder Scroll. Tidkrech Kalos. Time shudders at its touch. There is no question. You are doom-driven. Kogan Akatosh. The very bones of the Earth are at your disposal. Go then. Fulfill your destiny. Take the scroll to the time wound. Do not delay. Alduin will be coming. He cannot miss the signs. Aye, aye, Captain. Time to read this. If we go blind, it is what it is. So freaking cool. That scroll looks awesome. Today, Alduin's lordship will be restored. But I honor your courage, Kreef Wolf Akri. Die now in vain. Damn, dude. Girl. Hey, on. A glorious day, is it not? 
You know thought beyond the flooding of your blade. <laughs> what else is there? Battle below goes ill. Faldun does not rise to our challenge. I fear all may be lost. Damn, they murked a you ton of dragons. Too much, brother. Victory will be ours. Why does Alduin hang back? We've staked everything on this plan. Oh. I gotta get my feet off. Vivi's trying to get back on the couch. Get up there, girl. Why should he feel get, get up there. Now. We blooded him well. Four of his kin have oh. fallen to my blade alone this day. But none have yet stood against Alduin himself. Oh, sorry. They did not have Dragon Rand. Once we bring him down, I promise I will have his head. You do not understand. Alduin cannot be slain like the lesser dragon. He is beyond our strength. Which is why I brought the Elder Scroll. Damn. Feldir, we agreed not to use it. I never agreed. And if you are right, no, will not need to deal with Alduin ourselves. Here and now. We shall see soon enough. Alduin approaches. So be it. This is crazy. Me. Tahudis. Him hind palim. Suu hindan. Let those that watch from Savengard envy us this day. So we learned it. She got murked though. Okay, well, I, I think we want to put on that shout. Yeah. Uh, kind of important. <laughs> so it like pins him, pins him to the ground. Did I miss? Get down here. I'm not scared. You will yeah, He's level 36. He's a little scary. 
sl slightly scary. Let's see, do we got some potions we can pop here? Fortify health, that's pretty good. Uh, poison to weakness, like a magic, that's good. And then... Oh, we didn't bring in any uh, resist magic, it's fine, it's fine. And we have the blade sword, so... I did. Wait for him to line up. There we go. Get him down here. What the heck? How does he keep getting away? We dragon ran him. We gotta, we gotta drop a bad boy into here. Shall not run from me. Oh god, he almost killed me. Holy crap. since Alduin escaped. Me livrach in moro. True, this is not the final Krongra. Victory. But not even the heroes of old were able to defeat Alduin in open battle. Alduin always was Pachlok, arrogant in his power. Uznagar Par. He took domination as his birthright. This should shake the loyalty of the Dove who serve him. Oh, I need to find out where Alduin went. Yes, one of his allies could tell us. 
Matmahus, but it will not be so easy to convince one of them to betray him. Yeah, that's Perhaps true. the Hafkasayun, the palace in Whiterun, Dragon's Reach. It was originally built to house a captive Dova. A fine place to trap one of Alduin's allies, hmm? Okay, that sounds pretty smart. The Jarl of Whiterun, right run. The Jarl of Whiterun. Might not think so. Mm, yes. But your Zoom is strong. Too excited. I do not doubt that you can convince him of the need. Dragon's Reach was built to hold a dragon. Yes. This was ages ago, you understand. There were more of us then. Before the Bruniki, the Akaviri came and killed all my Zema. I used to visit him from time to time, nearly crazed by loneliness and captivity. Tiraz Sivaz. He did not even remember his own name. Jeez. I do not know how he came to be caught, but the Bronyun, the Jarl, was very proud of his pet. Pa. The Hofkasayun has been known as Dragon's Reach ever since. That's crazy. Okay. So, with that being said, we have to go talk to the Jarl of Whiterun. Dang. That's crazy. That was so good. That was so good. So freaking good. Okay. Do we just keep going? We just keep plowing through the story? It's been so good. I love the ending. I love it. It's like, it's something you don't always get done in, in, in your Skyrim playthroughs, because, let's be real, who you does the main story that many work? times? Pro you? Not that many people. You, you know what I mean? How many people actually go through the main story after doing it once? No one. You just want to explore and find books. Exactly. But we got, well, I wanted to get this done so we had Dragon Run. And just because I knew there was going to be a ton of books along the way. We got like, I don't know, 40 books or something? Just doing the main story, exploring everything. <laughs> oh, man. And we're, and we're back tomorrow morning. I forgot. I always forget. Thursday into Friday is so good. We stream at night and then get up right in the morning and freaking stream again. Play some more Skyrim. That's the plan, I, th I think. Cyberpunk's been really fun, but... Yeah, I think we gotta... I, this guy's asleep. Man, this playthrough's been so good. So good! The challenge of just, like, getting the books has been, like, such a fun other thing to do. Where is he? Is he upstairs? Here, Preventus. Ah! Hello. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. I need your help. I need to trap a dragon in your palace. Uh, I must have misheard you. That's quite a question. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. I mean, don't you know? That's what this place is made for. You know I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. I'm sorry, but I can't do it. We'll just have to keep fighting the dragons as best we can. Look, man. That's not... That's not acceptable. What you're asking for is insane. 
Impossible. You want me to let a dragon into the heart of my city? With the threat of war on my doorstep? <laughs> yeah. This is the only way to end the dragon. There must be another way. The risk is too great. The threat is worse than you know. Alduin has returned. Alduin. Alduin. The world eater himself. Yeah. But how can we fight him? I Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? I am Dragonborn. It's my destiny. We're finally... We're finally playing that part. I don't know about such things. But I heard the Greybeard summon you. That's good enough This is for my me. destiny. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? It's the only way to find Alwyn before it's too late. I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while a dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. What if you didn't have to worry about an enemy attack? Oh man, are we gonna have to go talk to everyone and tell them to shut up? Then... I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme, but getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar oh, is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. So we're gonna we're gonna make the Greybeards hold a peace council. That's kind of nuts. They don't do anything. I dragon. They refuse to like get involved. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. Okay. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Holy crap! That's uh, quite a th quite a thing we gotta do. We gotta convince two, the the Dawn God. two sides of morons. Did we get all the books in here? I think we did. We did some pretty good exploring of this. <laughs> I lied. I'm such a liar. Oh, me too. I can't believe that book has been sitting there this entire time. Freaking wild. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we have to go talk to. This is gonna be brutal. It's gonna be brutal. They aren't going to want to do this. They don't get involved with anything, like I said. <laughs> hey man, I know you've been just hanging out here. Doing your thing. Aldwin? We heard the dragon run shout from here. You defeated him? Yes, but he escaped. I need to find his portal to Salmonguard. I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. I need your help. I need to capture a dragon. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the way of the voice. Hey, well, that's not what I'm, I'm not asking for that. I'm wor I'll worry about capturing a dragon. I need your help to stop the war. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. I know this. Jarl Belgriff won't help me while the war rages. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Oh, 
Both sides respect the Greybeards. They will listen. Artanax has made the decision to will help they? This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. This is gonna go so poorly. Sky above, voice within. Cynical facade. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. Oh god, we gotta go to Windhelm. We haven't been there. Have we been to Solitude? We have. Right, because we had to do that quest. to perform at the Blue Palace on many occasions. His late lordship was quite the admirer. Fletching suits me. It's difficult and sometimes tedious. That doesn't, that doesn't bode well. A guard just booking it? Destruction magic's fine. Just don't go burning down any buildings. Gotta keep my eyes open. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm doing great. You sure you... Sell off that junk at bits and pieces. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? Um. I have a message from the Greybeards. We could tell them that we've met before. <laughs> the Greybeards? What do those old hermits want with me? They're convening a peace council in High Hrothgar. Why? There's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. Uh, we need a truce until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. Yeah, we got bigger problems than your petty little war. They are getting to be a problem. But I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. The dragons are a bigger problem than the Stormcloaks right now. Kinda, a little bit. Just a little bit. I'll be the judge of that. Besides, by all reports, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as much as we are from these dragon attacks. This guy, he's so stone-headed. Delburn. The best time to negotiate is from a position of strength. We just give him, give him that, and like play into their hand, or do we just do we go? I think we're gonna get, we're gonna play into their hand, and then we'll play into the other people's hands, and just make them think they're both doing good things. Fair enough. We're driving the storm cloaks back well enough at the moment, but we're already overstretched. That's what comes of trying to win a war with a bare handful of legions. If the Ember would just give me the reinforcements I've requested. Why won't the Emperor send more reinforcements? I don't care about your reinforcements. Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. Good. That's not Perfect. what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. I'm surprised that went so well. Winter... No lollygagging. I am surprised that went so well. Now we have to go to Windhelm, which we have not been there. All right, Borslin. Need a ride? I do. Where do you want to go? I want to go to uh, Windhelm. Climb and back, and we'll be off. I can't wait here forever. Yeah, right when we right when we started this playthrough, I went straight to the College of Winterhold because I wanted to get all the the magic stuff since we were going spell sword. Um, which the extra perks and stuff that we have for the mod has made it pretty fun. I've tried doing spell sword in like vanilla, and it just doesn't. It doesn't make it very strong. So. 
the, the little perk mods have been good. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the storm cloaks. But we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Jeez. Imperial spies? You can't right, be we're, serious. We're not gonna deal with that. We'll we got we got business to do. I haven't I haven't taken a side in the war because I just don't I don't care about it this playthrough. <laughs> It's got nothing to do with collected books. Algrif won't give us a straight answer. It's no secret. The He's a true lord. He'll come around. To call the Dark Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. And what would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. How long are you going to wait? You think I need to send Volgraf a stronger message? If by message you mean only the foolish or the courageous. You had another character that you did just the story far enough where I can get a house and then uh, just live your life as a normal commoner. When you story going to barrows, uh, make honey, money, hunting, gathering ingredients, and making armor. Oh, that's cool. So it was like a, like a hardcore character or whatever you just kind of like lived it out that's cool it's a fun little way to play there was one of my friends told me that there was a, a person that was doing kind of something like that where they like just lived their life chopping wood that was it <laughs> they made money that way it's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they Oops. want? They want to negotiate a truce until the dragon mess is dealt with. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Yeah, how'd you die? How'd that character end up uh, kicking the bucket? <laughs> All be damned, Alduin is returned. Alduin, the world eater of sword yes. and legend. If that's true, well, it changes the situation, doesn't it? Even Tullius may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. So you'll come to the Peace Council? Yes, I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. This is gonna go so bad. <laughs> Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace will be it's a gonna go so bad. statement, don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest then. Soon. The graveyards are Thank you. Good, good stuff. Game didn't break. I like that. Okay, we talked to both sides. We go back to High Rothgar. are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll get them to agree to peace. This is the only way to get Valgrave's help. Yes, yes. Which is why I allowed this violation of all our traditions. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table and let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. 
You were out hunting, saw a deer, tried to shoot it, missed, ran after it, led you to a cave, and then got jumped by a saber tooth. That'll do it. <laughs> so, That'll do it. Gear, is it. You know why we're here. Oh, why are the blades are you here? Going to let us in or not? You are not invited here. You are not welcome here. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually, since we were the ones that put the dragonborn on this path. Were you? Hubris of the blades truly knows no bounds. If it were up to you, the Dragonborn would sit dreaming on this mountain, doing nothing. Delphine, we're not here to rehearse your tragedy. The matter at hand is urgent. Aldwin must be stopped. You wouldn't have called this council if you didn't agree. We know a great deal about the situation and the threat that Aldwin poses to us all. You need us here if you want this council to succeed. I like Espern because he talks sense. I do not like Delphi. <laughs> he is just grumpy the whole time. He once watched a streamer and he was doing a magic playthrough only. <laughs> Magic's been fun. Take your seat. This is kind of begin. honestly kind of the only. Well, I've done a couple magic ones, but not like crazy. This is the only spell spell sword one that I've done that has gone well. But magic is crazy. The fireball spell that I have. Dragonborn. This is insane. Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. And when I first started, I was doing frost, and then I was like, meh, fireball. I hope that we have all come <laughs> no. here in the spirit you of... You insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Oh, damn. Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Diplomatic. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial Delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. They brought the Thalmor. If That's such a dumb idea. the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch. Either she walks or I do. Damn, Ulfric. What's the harm Zeiss Tullius doesn't want? Really want her here either. <laughs> Nobody wants the Thalmor here. Maybe so, but bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Tullius needs to know I won't be pushed around. I like how I've become the middleman. Like, can't you just talk? Can't you be adults? I agree. Uh, this will set the tone for the whole negotiation. Uh, let Tullius have his way. He'll have to give ground later. Mm. It feels like a mistake to me. But I'll bow to your judgment on this. But she is to observe. Nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Elfric, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Thalmor that's burning your fathers and killing your sons. Is she supposed to be on our side? No, exactly. No. Not this time. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't We're be able to resist. A temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? 
Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markarth. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. Yeah, the potion making so is fantastic. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? I love it. You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Murkarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. I want in return. Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Uh, my character right now, in this playthrough, I'm a spell sword, so I'm doing one, uh, one-handed weapon, and then... I usually have spells. I'll switch between like um, alteration, healing, and destruction, and conjuration. Um, kind of dabbling into everything, uh, which has been really fun. Like I said, the I have a mod that gives the perks like an extended um, free, so things kind of affect stuff better than they normally would in like a vanilla playthrough. Um, which give a lot of buffs to that kind of playstyle because there's not a lot of that in vanilla. And so it's been really fun having like my spells if I'm using one in one hand and a sword in another. I do a lot more damage um, that way instead of like dual casting and stuff. So it's been it's been really fun. It's probably like one of my favorite ways to play other than sword and board, like a shield in a one hand. Um, and it's, it's cool that it actually works now, so... Um, Dawnstar seems like a fair trade. In exchange for Markarth, the source of most of Skyrim silver. Hardly. Riften seems like a better choice to me. Well fortified, easily resupplied from across Lake Honric. Plus all the mead we can drink. There are advantages to gaining Dawnstar. Not enough to outweigh the loss of Markarth. With the reach in enemy hands, our whole position in solitude would be threatened. You asked my opinion, I gave it to you. Well, this is so... No matter what I say, e either side is going to be kind of pissed off at us, so... You asked my opinion, I gave Fair it to enough. you. enough. I was hoping you could put aside your loyalties for the greater good. I don't have loyalties. I see you're firmly in Ulfric's camp. Still, having another port would ease our supply situation considerably. Better than nothing, I suppose. But Ulfric will need to offer a lot more if he wants me to give up Markarth without a fight. The Dragonborn has spoken, Talius. Markarth will be ours. Now we'll see if there's anything behind your talk of good faith. I don't blame you, Dragonborn. You made the best of a bad situation. But I can see now that this is not a negotiation at all. I know you, Ulfric. If I hand over Markarth, you'll be ready with a new demand. You'll never defeat the Empire, and you know it. But you're willing to sacrifice thousands for your own selfish ambition. Soon enough, I'll have you back under the Headsman's Axe, and this time there won't be any dragon to save you. As always, the Empire's fine words are worth nothing. Stop! Are you so Please. blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing, 
while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me, and I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now, he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very pretty speech. But what does That's it have to do you. with a... I don't know about the end of the world, but this dragon situation has gotten out of hand. Damn. If this truce will help the dragon totally split her in her place. put an end to that menace, we both gain. Remember that, Ulfric. Now, back to the matter at hand. You know as well as I do that we can't hand over Markarth on these terms. Show us bones. Where will these demands end? I'm listening. We want uh, yeah, you can share it if you want. You slaughtered the very people you claim to be fighting for. Oh, True thanks, Rose. Sons of Skyrim uh, never do such things. I gotta get her in here. Damned Imperial lies. My men would never stoop to such methods, even in retaliation for your <laughs> butchery. At All the blood spilled in this war is on your head. You've been even handed so far. What do you say to our demand? All right, we're gonna put this conversation on hold. We're gonna grab Vivi, and we'll give her a pet quick and some treats, since it was redeemed. No big deal. Vivi. Come here. Oh God. Come here. Come here. Sit down. Come here, Vivi. Come here, good girl. Here you go. Come here. Where are you going? Come here. Sit down. Oh. Girl. Okay, back to the back to the game. <laughs> It's a four effect potion. That's gotta well be well said. Gotta be good. For once, you'll actually pay for your crimes. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces. Jarl Igmund will step down and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Makarth. Ulfric will allow Imperial forces into the Pale, Skald the Elder will go into exile, and Brynna Merilis will assume the Jarlship. The Stormcloaks will pay appropriate compensation for the massacre at Carthwaston. You both agree to this? I shouldn't agree to terms that so blatantly favor the Empire. I have no choice, though. You're getting Markarth. But once Aldwin is defeated, then it will be the Empire's turn. Remember Evgir Utslav. You've done well for Thank you for the, the, the gift itself. Uh, Rose, I appreciate beware, that. The Empire's loyalty is fickle. They will tire of this war, and then I will be the one dictating terms to you. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Galmar. We have a lot of work to do. Dang, well, okay, well, that was... It's a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan. Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains. 
How to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all? Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, <laughs> I was busy <laughs> that in the library of Skyhaven Them an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Aldrin has raised up. So, charred skeever hide, mud crab gin, and fungal pod, and it gives you resist poison, cure disease, restore stamina, and restore health. Yeah, that is pretty good. That gives a lot. That is a pretty decent potion. How does that help us? Don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with the voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. Oh, that's fair. So we can shout his name and he'll come to us? Why would he come when called? He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Uh -huh. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. So what's this dragon's name? Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here in the scroll. Oda Vin. Winged snow hunter, as I read it. There's one we know. You know what? Parthenax, the dragon that the Greybeards have been protecting for all these years. He needs to die. He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill him. Until he's dead. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. Yeah, I'm not gonna kill uh, Parthenax. He's, he's cool. You can go away. Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. I just don't like Delphine. No. No, I'm not killing him. Get out of here. Uh, you give me a four effect potion for magic? Yeah, yeah, go for it. I am not opposed. Uh, Backseating is, is never a problem for me. I mean, I don't mind. It's different if people give spoilers and stuff, but like chill stuff like that, and that doesn't bother me at all. Feel free. Quick save, just in case it decides to crash again. Let's catch us a dragon. That's fair. Yeah, spoilers is, is kind of lame. Like if you if you ruin a story or something for somebody, that's kind of kind of kind of mean. But uh, yeah, all all that other stuff, even just like talking about how you build, all that stuff, that that never bothers me. I I like hearing how people make their characters and all that stuff. That's that's awesome. Or just like helpful things, like yeah. We're ready, Dragonborn. Just say the word. As I promised, my men stand ready. The great chains are oiled. We wait on your word. Liquor, cornberry, as bay grapes. Probably have a bunch of this. I mean, I have so much. My men know what to do. 
Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. Exactly. Oh, he's running. The Great Porch. Time to catch a dragon. You do have a plan for luring a dragon here, yeah? I do. I'm gonna shout. If he would have stayed in the place, he would have known that. Tall dragon. Alright. You ready, Belgriff? Go ahead and call this dragon of yours. What? We're red Bing! Let's go ahead and put, um... Eh, we don't really need Dragon Run. He's not going to fly away, yeah? Well, maybe. Maybe we do. You do have a plan for luring a dragon. Oh, he's coming. That recipe gives restore magic, fortune magic, regenerate magic, spell absorb. That's a good but Holy crap! That poor guard! Come down here. Oh, this guy's not that strong. He's not strong. How do you? Oh, we gotta get him inside. That's right. Uh -huh. How does it? How does it stop him from breathing fire? Dovakin. Ah, I forget. You do not have the Dova speech. My eagerness to meet you in battle was my undoing, Dovakin. I salute your hmm, low cunning in devising such a Gramin Dol stratagem. To Ubonar, you went to a great deal of trouble to put me in this humiliating position. Yep. In Sir Alduin, hmm? no doubt you want to know where to find Alduin. I do, that is correct. We're trying to get to, uh, Salvengard. Right? That's right, where is he hiding? Vaza, an apt phrase. Alduin Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your thorn for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship, whether his thorn was truly the strongest. Among ourselves, of course, Muni Maie. None were yet ready to openly defy him. Right, but I did. So now you're gonna be I'm the I'm the Master Dova. And I, I lead the College of Winterhold and now I am in charge of the dragons. That's how it goes. Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength, devouring the Silesur, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovngarde is at Skaldafin, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Okay. Binduran pa ok midove navarantil. 
I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. Zuulost Ofan Hinlan. Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? Um, do you promise to serve me? Um, serve you? No. Need id. If and when you defeat Alduin, I will reconsider. Hmm, Krosis. There is one detail about Skaldafen I neglected to mention. Tell me what you know then. Only this. You have the Thurm of Adova, but without the wings of one, you will never set foot in Skaldafen. Of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this. We seem to be in an impasse then? Okay, so... We set him free and then we fly there. But I am not ready. I gotta make sure we have potions, all that good stuff. We gotta, we gotta make sure we're set. Which I think we have a good amount of potions. Like, we have so many vigorous healing potions. So many magic potions. Tons of stamina potions. Like, we're pretty stocked up on that point. It's just a matter of, like, I need to drop some stuff off, though. Because we are... We are heavy. Dragon guy, what are you doing? Get out of here. You can't just come talk to a dragon. A captive dragon. Just think of the possibilities. Incredible. Uh, sir, you have no idea how long I have waited for such an opportunity. I would be most appreciative if you would permit me to perform some uh, tests on you, purely in the interests of the advancement of knowledge. Be gone, mage. <laughs> Do not test my promise to the Dovahkiin. I assure you, you will not even notice me. Most Get out of them here. are hardly painful at all to a large dragon such as yourself. Yeah, I'll punch you in the head. Uh, very bad idea. Even for you. You're gonna ruin this entire thing. Okay, like I said, we're we gotta go drop some stuff off, Greg. So we're gonna head to the tower. Let's quick save real quick just to make sure. Since it's been crashing on us so much today. This is our uh, our player home. Um, it's a mod. Pretty nice. It's just got a lot of space for us to deal with things. Lots of lots of book space too, which is important for obviously. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so many. That's what I mean. I've just been stocking up. I pick everything, everything. Uh, let's see. What do I need to drop off? Oh, we have a bunch of soul gems. That's what that's what we were gonna do. Yeah, I I it's something that I've definitely focused on is just <laughs> is collecting so much stuff. But we're gonna drop a ton of these here. Just because they're weighing us down so much. We don't need a million of them. Like 33 common soul gems. I don't think I need to carry that many on us. Same thing with the graders. I don't, I don't need that much. Lesser soul gems. Petty soul gems. Filled petty soul gems. Jeez. Kinda crazy.
Okay, what else do we have on us? A ton of necklaces and stuff. We can drop those too. That's where we were putting them. Akatosh is the one we're rocking. Oh, we still have to go do the Galdar quest. Jeez. So much stuff. Okay, we should be good though. 170. That's not that bad. Set him free. Let's get over to Sovngarde. <laughs> oh. Oh. It died again. That's why we quick save. Yeah, I don't know why why it's been such a jerk today. I really don't I really don't know why it's been. It's just on load screens too, it's weird. Well I guess that one crashed when we were talking to the guy on the cart, but so weird. It's gonna be a pain to edit. <laughs> <laughs> I put all my VODs over to YouTube and it's I'm gonna have to do so much editing on this play on this on this day. Okay. Fast travel to Dragon's Reach. Is it gonna not let us into Dragon's Reach? Oh my gosh. That's gonna be that's gonna be bad. Man. Come on, Skyrim. Give it damage health, ravage health, damage stamina, regen, poison. Dang, yeah. You really, you really go in hard on the, on the potion making. That's crazy. It's cool. There's so much you can do with it. It's, it's really cool. The things, all the mixtures and stuff. Well, I guess it's, it's 940. We usually, we usually only stream until, um, 10 uh so maybe we'll save maybe we'll save this for the next time um we'll save the end yeah, i usually stream from uh 7 p.m central time until 10 p.m central time on thursdays so the way i usually end a stream is I'll, I'll come up here and i'll grab a book and we'll read it because i just love it so we'll find a book to read, and we'll read that, and then um, we'll be back in the morning. What do, want, what do, what, what do we want to read? We have a Ravage Health, Ravage Magicka, Lingering Damage Health po Poison. Yeah, some of those poisons get crazy. Ooh, Dunmir of Skyrim. Hmm, I love all the the dwarven stuff. We read Darkest Darkness. War 
dwarves. Yeah, let's read dwarves one, and then tomorrow we can read dwarves two. Perfect. Okay. Dwarves, the lost race of Tamriel. Volume one, architecture and designs by Calcimo. Scholar of Markarth. Oh, that's the that's the guy that uh, I know him. I remember him. You do quest for him. Um, let me begin by uh, correcting a common misconception. The proper term to use when referencing the ancient lost race of Tamriel is Dumir. It's a word whose meaning is roughly transla translated to people of the deep in the common tongue and whose use has been widely replaced by the more ubiquitous uh, nomenclature dwarves. I would like uh, stated that I use the name dwarves in lieu of a more accurate term in these books out of the sympathy for my readership, who I can safely assume does not have the breadth of scholarship that 200 years of study has given me. With the small point finished, let us begin our discussion on the dwarves by focusing on the indisputable artifacts they have left behind. Their architectural and cultural designs, unlike the more controversial areas of dwarven scholarship, the construction of dwarven cities and relics are well founded. Due to the plethora of samples taken from the ruins these peoples ha have left uh, behind, my own home city, Markarth, was originally one such ruin, and I can state from first hand experience that all dwarven designs share a com set of common uh, principles that we can use to determine true artifacts from fakes and uh, delineant patterns and methodologies that were important to their craftsmanship. First of all, we can say that for certain that dwarf, dwarven artisans favored stone, at least as far as their buildings are concerned. This is no surprise. With notable exceptions, the vast majority of dwarven architecture is found underground or carved out of mountains. It is possible, although only theor theoretically, that the dwarves first mastered masonry as a race quite early, and later examples of metalwork were added on to much earlier stone designs as the dwarves began to master more complex tools. Regardless, the foundation of all known dwarven ruins is built on stonework, and the structure of dwarven stonework is sharp, angular, and intensely mathematical in nature. By a simple count, there are hundreds if not thousands of samples of dwarven buildings made of precise square shapes, and far fewer examples of discreetly rounded and curved stonework, leading us to believe that early dwarves favored trusted, well-calculated designs based on angled lines rather than riskier, more imprecise calculations based on arcs and curves. This comparatively simple tradition of stone cutting has nevertheless resulted in buildings that are uh, as structurally sound today as they were thousands of years ago, making the works of our most skilled masons today seem like child's play in comparison. Metalwork, as uh, we know, is the primary method used to make almost all dwarven crafts. We cannot, however, discount more easily destructible materials, such as clay, paper, and glass from outside the scope of dwarven craftsmanship. But given the tendency of dwarven design the favor, to favor the long-lasting over the fragile, we can safely assume that at the very least, metal was a heavy preference, and the metal used in all so far discovered dwarven relics is entirely unique to their culture. That's true. No other race has replicated whatever process was used to create dwarven metal. Although it can be easily mistaken for bronze, and in fact many forgers of dwarven materials use bronze to create their fake replicas, it is most definitely a distinct type of metal of its own. I have personally seen metallurgists attempt to combine several different types of steel and common and rare ores in order to imitate dwarven metals, exclusive, exclusive properties, but the only method that has been successful is to melt down existing dwarven metallic scraps and start over from there. That's kind of cool. That's really cool. I, I That makes sense. I mean, obviously you have to find the dwarven um, pieces of metal and then smelt them down to make dwarven armor and stuff when you're smelting. So that's really cool. I like that. Uh, damage health, ravage health, and weakness to poison. 
So not only does it mess up your health and weakness to poison makes it work. Yeah. Some of the, yeah, like I said, some of those poisons and stuff are crazy. Once you get mixing all the stuff together, it's cool. It is cool. Like I said, that's going to do it for me for today. Um, I will be back in the morning. Fridays I stream from um, 8 a.m. Central Time until 11 a.m. Uh, so we'll be back with Skyrim and we'll finish up the main story probably I think yeah because we're pushing towards the end so I'll be back in the morning thank you so much for hanging out hope you had a good time um, if you're looking for anything specific let me know I'll probably have something nice yeah for sure for sure um, but yeah I'll be back in the morning like I said um, <laughs> love the outfit thank you Thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, I just enjoy wearing the nice the nice clothes while I'm streaming. It's, it just makes it fun. Um, but yeah, I'll be back in the morning. Hope you have a good night.